So now, here we have a PMP bipolar junction transistor. It needs a little bit of emitter base current in order to allow a lot more emitter to collector current right there. In this case, the LED is limiting the current. We have this situation here. If there's no uh, emitter to base current, then there's not going to be any emitter to collector current, as we said before. But you get a little bit of emitter to base current. We got somewhere around about 0.43 milliamps current when we close the switch because we got a 10K resistor right there. If we only have 100 gain with this uh, transistor, it's probably closer to 200, but in any case, with 100 gain, that means this transistor is probably gonna let through about 43 milliamps of current, but the load is limiting it. I'm only using a 150 ohm resistor to protect the LED, so we're getting about 20 milliamps of current. So now, here's the schematic diagram for the PNP bipolar junction transistor. We got collector base emitter. The main thing is that the emitter for the PNP is pointing in right there. And uh, usually the schematic doesn't have the names of the pins. And it can be drawn whatever way works best for the schematic uh, diagram. That's the main thing. Now we come over uh, to this pin layout right there. And uh, there's the actual uh, transistor. So emitter on the left, base in the middle, collector on the right when you're looking at uh, the front. And uh, you know, maybe it's hard to read the uh, part numbers, so you may want a uh, loop or other uh, magnifying glass. Um, but in any case, um, that's where we have it, right there. That's the off position, and we move it there. So I just simply have to take the emitter, which is to the left there, and put it to the top. We got the curved side now to the right, flat side to the left, and our uh, circuit is wired up there. Just need a small emitter to base current to allow a lot more emitter to collector current.